but, but if I have to count uh, like boys, uh, random boys that invite me, I have 20. 20 per but, week? But, per week? Uh huh, see. Or more. What is this? Is there well, I, I don't know. But I don't this care. Is, I don't know. No, okay, I don't care. so here's another Argentina thing. It's I like, care. I don't care. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Cool, my name is Patrick Red, and I'm here today to talk a little bit about Buenos Aires, talk about some of the things to do in Buenos Aires, and kind of fill you in a little bit of what's been going on since Malay came into office with three of my Argentina friends here, as well as talk about a little bit of nightlife and dating later on. So to my left, and we'll start introductions, and then we'll dive into the different topics. We'll talk about Argentina beyond Messi and Malay. We'll talk about life since Malay, the Yankee stereotypes, which is like foreigner stereotypes. Buenos Aires nightlife, how to get invited to cool events, how to find the cool events, what are uh, promoters in Buenos Aires, dating in Buenos Aires, and kind of the, the final thoughts that they want to share with you. So if you don't know anything about Argentina, maybe you've heard a little bit about it, this is probably the perfect podcast for you. So stay tuned, take some notes, and let's go. So Sol, you want to okay. introduce yourself? Hello, my name is Sol. I'm 25 years old. I live in Buenos Aires since two years ago and I love going out with friends, uh, I love fashion, uh, I'm a publicist and well, uh, I'm single. <laughs> okay. Jasmine? Hi, I'm Jasmine. I have 24 years old and I am from Buenos Aires all my life. So that's what more. Cool. Thank you. So uh, I'm Franco, I have 26 years old, I'm from Buenos Aires, Argentina as well. I live here for um, 13 years, um, before I was living in Italy, in Italy, um, that's all. I like the nightclub, the night in Argentina, and that's it. For now. A lot of people here are actually Italian. I think a lot of people think that, yeah. uh, when people think about Argentina, they think that the Italian first immigrants. thing is that everyone's white, and that everyone was a Nazi. That's what yeah. everyone outside of America, in America says, right? In the yeah, United States, true. they're like, everyone's a Nazi. That's what they say. Everybody is what? They think that everyone is a Nazi from Germany. Yeah. They think that ah. everyone is from Germany, but actually most it's, people are from Italy. Italy, yeah. I'm from France. Okay. And my family, my descendants is from France. Okay. But so your, your heritage is, is Italian. I'm Italian. Your heritage is? Uh, French. Okay. I'm Italian too. Italian. Okay. Nice. So it's a mix. Okay. Yeah, here in Argentina, it's like a lot of immigrant, a lot of immigrant in the past. So, um, yeah, we have a, a lot of culture here. Okay. What are some of the, like the big immigrant populations? Because obviously you guys have pizza, you have empanadas, you have milanesa, asado, like milanesa. What is a milanesa? You don't try the milanesa. I, I've tried milanesa, ah. but for somebody who's never tried ma milanesa before. Milanesa, it's like meat or a chicken with a, a like bread. Bread, like breading. Breading. Yeah. Like you can eat fried or in. Yeah, with uh, potatoes mashed, but essentially, like the milanesa is the meat. Okay. And with the bread and it can be like fry. Okay. You're frying and it's like the best and most popular food here in Argentina. That's yeah. the most popular? Yeah. The asado. More than, more than empanadas, more yeah. than... I, I, I think so, the milanesa is more famous than the, the empanadas. Milanesa of meat, chicken, or vegan milanesa. Oh. Vegan? Vegan, yeah. yeah. Okay. With vegetables. You can make milanesa all... all. You can oh, make so sushi of milanesa. Okay. Oh, no. <laughs> I guess. I think the thing that scared me as a foreigner when I saw, because I'm so used to having steak, I'm so used to having like empanadas, at least I know what those are. But when I saw Milanesa in other countries, what they do is they take the worst meat and then they put the breading on it. And I never wanted to try Milanesa because I thought that was going to be the worst meat. But then I had it one time at some, you know, tiny little diner where there was a bunch of old people. Here in Argentina? Yeah. Okay. And I was like, oh my God, this is phenomenal. Yeah. So I, yeah. I thought as a foreigner, like, this is going to be the worst meat possible. Because when you go to other countries, that's the worst meat possible is like the, the breaded meat because they yeah. hide it. Maybe in other countries it, it can be like, like that. But here in Argentina, I mean, the, Milan, the best Milanesa is with 
um, beef de lomo, like a stick. Mm -hmm. That's the, the best part of the, of the cow and it's so good, so tasty. Okay. The asado as well is so, so famous. And what is this? That's mate. Okay, That's what is the, mate? The most popular This is what drink. everybody is drinking. Everybody, when you yeah. walk around, everybody's carrying around a little thermos. Yeah, in the street, and they have a little mate. in the house, in the party, in everywhere is the mate. Um, what is it? It's like a, the most popular drink here in Argentina. It's like a sort of tea, but it's not tea. It's, it's like... Um, if you want to see it. Yeah, it's like grass. It's like green. Yeah, it's green Comes in a little grass. bag. It can be, um, I, I don't know how to say, you can drink it like sweet or without sugar. I prefer with sugar, but here in Argentina, like if you drink uh, mate with sugar, you are um, like... Um, a little bitch. Yeah, a little bitch. You're a little bitch, bitch. Yeah. okay. Yeah, that's right. Okay, what else other than, you have mate, you have asados, empanadas, what else should people know about the culture? Maybe they know Messi. You guys love football. We yeah, call Messi it soccer. Is like, uh, I got here. Messi is like I got here. Is like uh, I think every Argentinian uh, guy at least want to meet Messi, want a photo with him. Okay. It's like crazy. <laughs> Me as well because he's like you know he's God. <laughs> he's God. Okay. Yeah, he's God. Yeah. But um, speaking about food, I think the most popular we already say it like asado, empanadas. Asado is like barbecue. Yeah. It's a barbecue, and we have uh, achuras, like, uh, how can I call it? The, like the, 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 the things that the, the, no, the no. cow has no. in the stomach. Like oh, intense intestines. Yeah. Intestines. Yeah, intestines. Okay, yes. so you eat intestines here. Yes, that is the best part of the, of the barbecue, yeah, I think. That, that, is like, um, that is like love or hate, because I hate the achuras. I don't... But so love it. Yeah, I, love it. I know it's like uh, you love it or you hate it. I personally hate the achuras. I don't like. I I eat all the meat, but the achuras is like. Ugh. Okay, no. so past meat, people have heard of Messi, Malay. Um, what, I guess, what's something that you guys have experienced? So Malay is this guy who's this crazy rock star was in a rock band you know comes out with a chainsaw he ends up defeating masa and masa was kind of the incumbent party which was more like i guess socialist you'd say socialist yeah, socialist. and essentially malay has come in with this idea that he wants to get rid of the state and he thinks of the state and he has these funny funny things where he says he's going to get rid of every single ministry yeah, and yeah. says the ministry of defense Afuera, which means like Afuera. out, and he oh, does out. all those things, and um, then he also like meets with Elon Musk, and he says like yeah. Viva la Libertad, carajo, which means live yeah. the fucking freedom, and so he's this like big polarizing, I guess, figure on the outside, like Bukale in, in El Salvador, yeah. or maybe Trump in the United States. Um, maybe how it's been about a year since he's been elected. How yes. has kind of what do you guys think of Malay? How has your life changed, maybe? Has your life changed? Has it not changed? Okay. Um, how do you feel about that? Can I you hold the mic a little bit closer yeah, to you? I, I, I don't feel like I changed like, uh, directly, but I'm, um, me and all my family are from um, like the, the Millet style. Mm -hmm. And my family personally hate the, the, the government um, was before. So for me, it's good. It's a good change, Millet. I don't know a lot of politics, but uh, for now, he's doing <laughs> at least the the things well. Yes. Um, well, I'm waiting for the dollarization. Yeah. I don't. I don't know how to say it, but yeah, because Millet, Millet, Millet says said, he's gonna like dollarization the country. Yes. He wanna do that. But I don't know his. Can. But we, we, we I can. Pesos and try to use only dollar uh, in Argentina too. Yes. Okay. Like die pesos. I know he's doing some change. Like you can now, you, you can't blanquear. How can I say money? Uh, you can put money in the bank, like dollars, if you want, uh, until this month, at the end of the month. This. Yes. That's good. So if you have money, you can put it in a bank, and that's security. It's safe. safe. Yeah, safe. it's safe. Yes. That's good. Well, uh, I don't like politics in general, in general, so I don't go to vote, vote. So I 
can't give a really good opinion, but I hope uh, Milei uh, do great things from Argentina and now that, that he is in the government, uh, I wish him that he can make something good from from Argenti for Argentina. So that's the, that is my my point of view because I don't like the politica the politic in general in Argentina. I don't believe it. So I didn't go to vote mm -hmm. even. I can see that the dollar now is uh, in in a stability. Mm -hmm. It doesn't go up and that's good. So yeah, I think that I the economy saw some, is more stable. some changes. Yeah. I saw a little changes about uh, all the the money and the things. The, and I hope it's como que continúa así. That yeah, it's gonna to. Yeah, uh, we hope so. The the dollar doesn't go up and down like, you know, so quickly because before Millet the dollar was, um, I don't know if you wanna um, you was in Argentina when Millet wasn't the president. Yeah. Yeah, and the dollar was so crazy. Like, we. Yeah, the days before the voting, it went up from like 800 to 1200 yeah, in like three days, and. It's it's a huge change. Yeah. I mean, when you have says in dollars. The, the money doesn't, um, I mean, you can't uh, have a saving pesos, you mm -hmm. know, because you are losing money. Yeah, so essentially, like, people here will save in dollars, but you earn in pesos sometimes, yeah. right? And then they will change their money. Uh, you have to have, like, blue $100 bills. I don't know, you can't have any, like, little rips in them or little creases or an old bill because it's worth less or something, yeah, worth less. which is kind of funny for us as Americans because doesn't matter if a bill's ripped in half, you yeah. can still spend it. Nobody yeah. cares. That's true. Um, so people then change the money for pesos and they spend in pesos. So it's kind of a confusing system for people to come here because they're here like Malay wants to dollarize, meaning that he wants people to use dollars in like stores. So people have dollars here, but they don't spend dollars. So when you go to a restaurant, you spend in pesos. So it's like you have this black market where you have to take yeah. dollars and then exchange it to pesos. So and have you, you guys always lose a little bit in that change? Yeah, you always lose a little bit yeah. compared to like what the official official rate is. Right now there's like an official rate, which is like a bank rate that's like 900, and there's an unofficial rate that's like 1200, so you can get higher amounts of money. When I was first, when I was here last year, it was like 400 and, and 1200. So it was like yeah. you got three times as much money now it's only like 20% more money. It's so crazy. it's kind of crazy how quickly prices change. Even in the last couple of weeks it's gone down like 30 percent since yeah. like july um in terms of like the dollar being weaker so like everything is more expensive for foreigners but how maybe have you guys seen any of the prices changed in the last year i mean the the previous year was like 400 percent inflation and last year now was like 270 percent inflation like have you guys seen any prices change like do you guys earn in dollars do you guys earn in pesos like what does that look like for you guys personally yeah personally in the like the 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 usual stuff, uh, the, the the price is very changing, but in maybe in a car or in a rent house, it's not changing so much because all that um, is in dollars. You know, you can't buy here a car in with pesos. It's like it's not it's not possible. Impossible. Yeah, you can't pay here a rent in pesos. Nobody is gonna take you pesos. It's all in dollars. That's a big amount. Is not changing because of that, but the little things the usual common days, and yeah, there is a, a lot of change. Okay. The price go very up. Um, yes, I think that, well, the answer, the, the question was that, if we own in pesos or in dollars, no? No, just like, like how, what, is, what does it look like for you? Like, do you guys ha get paid in dollars? You know, and then you spend in pesos. Like, how do you, do you change your money? Do you hold crypto? Yeah, you know? the best for us is like uh, earning you're in Italian, dollars. Yeah. So you speak with your hands. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's I, Mike I, right here. Yeah, it's <laughs> my bad. But uh, the best for us is uh, sp uh, speak. We still have pesos. Yeah, no. We, we need Air, to earn in dollars. In dollars yeah, but that's we the use the pesos. That's the best for us. To go in and out and to okay. spend money. But we here in Argentina, I think that or the car. 20 percent of the population um, earn in dollars, because uh, all the countries like. Do you earn in dollars? Yeah. Okay. Yes. 
Are you earning dollars? Yes. Do you earn in dollars? Yes. Okay. So all of you guys earn in dollars. But yes. Do you work, do you work for companies? Do you so you all work in dollars? Do all of you work for companies that are in Argentina or somewhere outside the U.S.? Do you speak English, Spanish? Uh, so so I have like a client. So maybe I work for people in in the outside, mm -hmm. but um, as well here I have like a contact so I can reach the payment in dollars. So I agree that, but. Like I said before, it's hard here to earn in dollars. Okay. Yeah. Are, my, parents are, my parents okay. Says are in dollars, so they pay in dollars. So okay. that's all. But okay. we are privileged. Privileged. Yeah, yeah, privileged. Yeah, privileged. yeah, we, we are people really, privileged. Yes. So we are a little percent, percentage of the body. Oh, no, I can't It's okay. Um, that you're a small, you're a small amount of the population. Yes. Most uh, people don't most people earn in earn in earn in pesos. Mm -hmm. Most people earn in dollars. No. Or excuse me. Most people earn in pesos yes. and do not earn in dollars. Uh -huh. Okay. That's the problem here. Let's go on to a different topic. So you guys call me what? What do you call me? Shanky. You call me a gringo, a, a shanky, okay? Shanky or Yankee, gringo. they they pronounce the Y like tortilla or shanky. quesadilla as a sh. So they say quesadilla, so with the the Argentina accent. So mm -hmm. what what is Jasmine? What is a Yankee? A uh, people of uh, USA. Okay, so somebody from Europe is not a a shanky. No. no. What USA. is what is somebody from Europe? Really different. But are they a gringo? Yeah, but I, I, are they are they still a gringo if they're from Europe? We don't have a like a, a name to call like the shanky because the shanky is the gringo. But when uh, it's, it's European, it's not like a, a name, you know. Okay. It's like only European. Okay. I think shanky is like a little bit like not a bad word, but it's like shanky, you know. It's like, yeah. Okay. No. No, it's not a bad word, but it's a way to call. Um, I don't know. Estadounidense. It's like too no. much. It's too long. Estadounidense. Okay. Really yeah, long. The, the short way is shanky. Okay. Um, do you guys know what uh, uh, what Yankee means in the United States? No. no. Yeah, I know. What does it mean? It's a like uh, drug, addict, drug addict. No, 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 no. It's a a Yankee. A Yankee. What does a, a shanky a mean? Team. Right. The, okay, the Yankees are a, a baseball team. A baseball okay. Team. <laughs> <laughs> the New York Yankees. I wasn't even thinking about yeah, that. That's I funny. Was thinking on that. Okay, so a Yankee in the Civil War, you had the North and you had the South, and Yankees is a way to call somebody who's from the northeast part of the United States, like Pennsylvania, New York, Connecticut, Massachusetts, uh, people that are generally considered more like city folk, city people. Like camp Campesinia? No, no, city, city. Ah, okay, city. So some, it would be like somebody from outside, like you outside of the, here, you'd call them like cowboys or something like that. Yeah, and then yeah. they would call you a Yankee because you're living in the city. Ah, okay, I got you. So a Yankee is a way to say that you are like, you're like high class, but you're like oh, kind really? of like, you have a, like fancy. a nose, like you're fancy, yeah. but like it's a, it's a bad way to say it. Like people from the interior or maybe from other... No, like the Puerto Madero here, like Yankee yeah. yeah. is Puerto yeah. Madero here. Okay, yeah. okay. Yeah, yeah so it would, be, it would be a way to oh, say Palermo like... Too. Yeah, Palermo, Puerto Madero, like the city, okay. you know, the Chetos. We call yeah, so the Chetos. You, the Yankee is somebody that's from the northeast of the United States and it's kind of like a... Oh, you're a, you're a snobby. You don't get your hands dirty. You don't do anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You you work really hard, right? You work really hard, but it's not like a good thing. I imagine. Okay. Like, with a sweet. So, what do you think? Let's go one by one. Franco first, and then we'll pass the mic, and then we'll pass the mic. What do you think about uh, Yankees? Um, I think it's like I live in USA uh, a little bit of my life. So when I am here and a uh, foreigner come here. I like the people, I like the culture, I like the, the junkies, you know, it's, it's cool, like, having that people here. I mean, I have a good impression of the junkies. Okay. Um, I can generalize it because it's people and people, but uh, I think that they are, like, some different uh, of us. Like, we are not, like, 
the same, so it's cool, like, uh, intercambiar, inter, inter, interchange, interchange, uh, or mix, cultures and ways to see the things, because uh, sometimes it's different, because the culture, the, the, como se cri como criamos, how you grew up, how we grow up here, uh, things are really different, so, in what ways do you think? Oh, it's a, uh, uh, maybe, um, well, the, that thing about the, the, como se dice, economia? The economy. E the economy and the... Also, a, a, an important part, so you can explain as well, the time of we eat at different times, we sleep at different times, we go out to the club at different times. That's yeah, you guys like, eat at 10 p.m.? Yeah. You guys go out to the club at what time? Like 3 a.m.? 3 a.m. The they go to the club. Yeah. Okay. And, they and we don't sleep. And they never <laughs> sleep. <laughs> so what else? What else do you think? What do you, What else? Maybe do you think about uh, Yankees? Uh, so well, uh, this way uh, we grow up like maybe not seeing we we or our families, but see all the people like uh, ha uh, having like uh, having to work a lot to don't earn it, nothing on the social way we Argentina like uh, in general uh, I think that that uh, gives us like a way of see things like different maybe I don't say come on it's okay it's okay I understand <laughs> um, well I love the country because it's first world like everything there is amazing comparing to Argentina okay yeah in, right? what poor, but in what ways in what ways not poor but but you are like the things the technology there is wow it's incredible everything is big okay yes. everything is USA. big technology yes that uh, well the people there uh, is nice like they like to to be with the families, friends, uh, how they ce celebrate their, I don't know, Christmas, New Year, uh, with with the sweater. That that's Christmas nice. sweaters because here we're in the south southern hemisphere, so they go to the beach. Right? Yeah, you go to the beach on yeah. Christmas because it's hot. summer. Here it's hot. Yeah. Yes, and we don't have that type of things here, and that is nice. And I would like to sometimes uh, like go. And have my my yeah, you're Merry everything. Christmas. Your your experience. Christmas with snow. Yes. Yeah. Or Christmas with yes. snow. Um, cool. I I think that um, in general, like there's a lot of cultural things for me. I've only I've been here maybe like six seven months. You know, for me, I've been outside the U.S. for like eight years, so it's really difficult for me to say what the big differences are because I've been outside the U.S. for so long. But I think some things are like, you guys really like going out with your friends a lot. Um, I feel as though that sometimes younger people tend to spend their money a lot faster here because they would lose the value of their money, so they gotta spend it, right? Yeah. And then you guys go out so late, man. We'll, we'll get into that in here a little bit. Okay, so have you, uh, one other question. Have you ever, have you ever dated a, a Yankee? Have you ever dated a Yankee? Like a, a Yankee woman? Yes. Um, no, here in Argentina, when I was living in Miami, okay, I I date a few Yankees, but yeah, it's cool. <laughs> what but, did you think of it? Yeah, it's cool. It's nice. Personally, I like more um, the Latina girls. Okay, why? Personally, because they are like more passionate, more, and you know, like they dance well. They. When I was uh, in Miami, I don't know. I'm a virgin, but you know. Yeah, yeah, me too. But this is just <laughs> yeah, just kissing, you know. Okay, just kissing. But, um, <clears throat> in when I was in in Miami, I see a, a little um, um, in the club. When I see the girls, the junkie girls, they are like they are not like the girls here, you know. The girls here are like more funny, more um, I don't know, more sensual. I don't know how to say the exotic, more you know, um, calientes. <laughs> <laughs> like warm to like receptive receptive, yeah, receptive. okay yeah oh. we can say that 
Okay, what do you think of, what do you think, of, have you ever, have you ever dated a Yankee? Uh, well, in Miami I dated a Yankee and it was okay, but uh, no, it was, it was really cool, I love him, so <laughs> le mandamos un beso. <laughs> Pero no, it, um, he lives like really uh, lejos, ¿cómo era? Near, me said, far away, far. so uh, that it was a short love story. Okay, but it was good. It was good, good, sí. Mm -hmm. um, I dated a few too, but I don't remember like the date, what was, like he didn't impress me. Like They didn't I impress prefer, you, they I didn't impress Latins. you. Okay, why yes. is that? What's the difference between an Argentina guy and a and a and a Shanky? Like they are more uh, passionate. The labia. Yeah, uh, we understand each other like the same. The labia the meaning like how they language. talk. Yeah, the, the 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 way you speak with a girl, you know, because it's the talk and the talk. Yeah. When you have the conversation with the girl to get her, yeah. so I think because I don't know a lot of Yankees as well, but I think the, the Latinian, the Latinos are like more, how, how can I say in, in English, chamuchero? Um, you'd say like more like uh, flirty. <laughs> flirty. Flirty? Yeah. That's well, I, I think a couple of things happen as well. One thing is that when you guys are speaking in Spanish, you guys know all the words, you know how to express yourself. And it took a very long time for me to be able to even express myself like in Spanish, and I still have problems, and I've probably been spoke, speaking Spanish since I was like 13. But then, also our culture is very different because we have a little bit, it's not feminism, but it's it's a little bit, um, it's it's closed, mm -hmm. Um We have, it, it's a lot more of a risk for a guy to talk to a girl in the United States because typically, Um, I don't know, there's, the girls are not as receptive to it, and there's also a lot, like, guys could lose their job if they make a girl feel uncomfortable, or uh, it's just seen as something a little bit bad, right? As opposed to, like, you know, when you go out in, in Argentina. I feel like people are a little bit more receptive to okay. flirting as well. Uh, Miami is a little bit different, because Miami is a Latin city, yeah. but in general, like, Uh, Americans, I think, are a little bit more closed off, and it's a little bit harder for a guy to to be that way and then not get in trouble, like real social trouble, really? like problems with the job or like you know some girls like gets mad at him about something or you know. So I think there's a lot more negatives to being that way, which is why our culture is a little bit different. So in the USA, if a guy is like furry, like you say, is like a problem. Or really flirty, like, yeah, it's definitely a problem. Definitely a problem. Really? Yeah. Like, oh. I, I mean, I went back to, to Washington, D.C. Washington, D.C. is probably one of the, the worst places for dating in the United States. Really? Yeah. Because there it's like, I don't know, like, um, it's not feminism in like the same way that you guys maybe see feminism here, but it's like you, I walked into, uh, I had COVID in 2020. Mm -hmm. And I walked into a hospital and there was a woman, clearly a woman, at the desk. And I was like, hey, I need an appointment. And she had this little pin that said she slash her. And I was so confused because I lived outside the U.S. I'm like, I I'm sorry, like, do people confuse you? Like, I know this is a weird question, but like, do people confuse you as like a man? Like, yeah, why, why like, do you why have that? a pin? And she's like, oh, I want people to know my pronouns. And I'm like, well, you're, you're a woman. So I had to like look up this stuff because I, I, I didn't even realize it. But like people get take offense if you don't like ask them their pronouns. Like if you say a girl like, hey, a Aya. Like if you call a girl Aya, it's like yeah. I am AX or whatever you, the <laughs> Latina equivalent to that is, right? Wow, that's and it crazy. just, um, in the US it's a little bit more combative and that's why it's like a lot more free. It's a lot easier to talk about these things. Um, and I think that's probably why a lot of Latinos think that Americans in general are a lot more reserved is because we don't necessarily grow up in that environment that's like that. A lot of the, a lot of the things when I was growing up, it's like you want to go to college and then you go study really hard 
and then you go get a job and you leave your house like you don't like we don't care about our families nearly as much as latinos do mm -hmm. um maybe you visit in christmas and thanksgiving for us and it's a, a lot of it's about chasing chasing money and i know that like a lot of Latinos want to have the opportunities and they're like, oh, I want the American dream because you guys make so much money. And then when you come here, it's like people care about their families a lot more, uh, just in my perspective. And I don't know. I, I don't think that there's necessarily one that's better than the other, but I think it's like a, it can be a good thing. It could be a bad thing because obviously, you know, yeah, living in poverty where most people live in such crazy poverty compared to you know, the, the amenities that you have in the U.S., it's a, it's a big difference, um, which kind of leads me to the next thing. So we kind of alluded to this a little bit, but tell me a little bit more about nightlife in Argentina. Like, uh, what are the nightclubs here like here? What time do people go out? Uh, what is an after party? Well, uh, for me personally, the nightclub, um, the night here in Argentina is like the best. Like, it's so, so good. Uh, we start with the we call previa, like the pregame. The, the pregame, yeah. We can start the previa like eleven. Eleven p.m. Eleven p.m. Okay. at the night. Um, so we you eat dinner at ten. Ten. You dinner. have a pregame at eleven. Yeah. Okay. The pregame finish like two a.m. Two a.m. We go to the club, and we stay in the club like until seven a.m. And then is uh, the best part who is the after which is the after and the after it can be like so so long so what time is the after start like 7 8 am and come finish like the other day or how many people go to the after well, all the people all the people from yeah. the club go to the after yeah i mean no all like, the people you know but at least the the half is going to the after so half the people who go to the nightclub at 2 yeah. am go to an after party at 7 or 8 am yeah no, no, the, the, the after party start 7 a.m. and finish like... The other day. The other day or all the day, can finish in the night. Yeah, it's crazy. Here, the, the party, at least here in Buenos Aires, in, in the that capital, <laughs> is so, so long. And the party is like, you have like all the days, like from Monday to Monday, you party. have clubs and party all around the city, 24-7. 24-7, party uh, all the week if you want. On a Monday. On Monday. What time does the club? What time does the club open on a Monday? No, the same. The same time. The Two a.m. Yeah. Okay. Two a.m. And Did I think <laughs> in the week, two a.m. is is too early. In the week, like a Monday and Tuesday, you need to go four, like four p.m. Four a.m. Four uh, a.m. <laughs> you have to go at four a.m. for the club. Mm -hmm. Until seven, like three hours, you know. Mm -hmm. Okay. Do you guys know what time clubs close? In the United States, for example, in Washington, D.C.? 2 p.m.? 2 uh, I am. I, on, I am. In Washington, D.C., Monday through Thursday, or Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, most clubs are not open. If they are open, they close at 12. Wow. And there's I nobody in them. <laughs> okay, then on the weekend, the club closes at 1.30 or 1. 1.30 in the weekend? Yes. And where is the body? What 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 you are going to do after that? You go to sleep. Sleep. <laughs> what is you go to what sleep is that? and then you go to work the next day. Yeah, that, that's the problem. <laughs> now in the weekend you work. I mean, I, I did. Like a Monday. No, I sorry, not Monday. Like a Domingo. Uh, uh, Sunday. Sunday. No, on Sunday you go and maybe go to a brunch, or like you know go visit your family or something. You know, relax yeah. a little bit. Yeah, yeah, I um, watch football. We watch American football. Ameri American football. So, American football. But no, you don't. <laughs> yeah. You don't stay up. And you know, in in Las Vegas, the clubs close at like two thirty, three a.m. In Las Vegas. In, in in Los Angeles, the clubs are required to close by two a.m. In Los Angeles. Well, Miami, the clubs close six. at four five. Oh. It depends no. because you have a space club. I mean, you have space, but that's a 24-hour club. Yeah, that's, that's, that's a different. Hour, yeah. But I'm saying, like, if you go to if you go to Mr. Jones, club. you go to Vendome. You know, you're probably most people are leaving at 4 a.m. Yeah, that's most true. people left at 3:30, 4 a.m. Yeah, that's true. Okay, so tell me a little bit more. Uh, you told me a little bit about nightlife. You didn't tell me about nightlife. Do you want to tell me a little about nightlife now? 
Okay. What else? What else? What else is like? What are some of the cool clubs? What are some of the things that you think about? Uh, like, like how often do you go out? What can we do here? Well, we can meet like in a house, big house, and do parties like Project X. You know. Okay, the, the Project movie. X. Yeah. Yes. Um, we do that type of things too, and it's good too. It's like we have a DJ, we have a dinner there too. Um, we drink a lot. Popular, <laughs> the what? most popular clubs here. What and are the most popular the clubs? clubs? Um, we have a jet. Jet, just to translate that. Yes. <laughs> Africa. Africa. Okay. Um, cien. Uh, one hundred. Tequila. Tequila. Okay. Um, that, that's. Yeah. Data. We have parties, but like, um. Yeah, big house. What's your What's your favorite club? My favorite, I think it's Africa. I always Africa? go there. Yes. Okay. What's your favorite club? Um, <laughs> My favorite club is Black Cream. Black Cream. Black Cream. Okay. <laughs> what's your favorite club? My favorite club <laughs> in the in right now is um, CN 100. 100. Which okay. is all, all the clubs are like near each other's because you don't have like the, the most popular and the good clubs are all in the capital. Okay. And it is all near. You, if you go out to the capital, you don't have a good club. The yeah. people there is a little bit. It's kind of like Washington D.C., where we have like a big metropolitan area. There's like 15 million people that live outside of here. We also have Banana, BNN. Uh, you have um, Vita. You have open, Bayside. I prefer open clubs. Like okay. Native. I I went. Native to. is like outdoors with yes. like a little yeah. little lake. Yes, that's. I prefer that. Okay. We can go like at the day. Okay, let's go tomorrow, right? Yes. Ah, okay. uh, then they have Mandarin, yeah. which is like a big event venue. You yeah, guys have like Rio. You guys have, I said Bayside already. You guys have, uh, what are the ones are we missing? Mm. Yeah, those are like the main ones, I think. Yeah. Mandarin. Mandarin. Mandarin, yes. Mandarin yes. yeah. Zero. Okay. So uh, what are some of like the, what are so, some of the things that people do before going to a club? You guys have like comp dinners, right? Like complimentary dinners. Uh, where have you gotten like complimentary dinners at? Well, sometimes I go to um, Colette, for La Ferranteria, um, which more? Gardiner. Gardiner. Gar yes. Gardiner. Gardiner. Um, Moby Dick. Moby Dick. Yes. Roland. Yes. What was it, that one? Roland. Roland? Yes. Okay. Roldan. Roldan. Yes, the food there is so good. Okay, and they give you yes. free... They give uh, Austin. Yes. Austin okay. is in Puerto Madero. Okay. Next to. And you get free like you, for girls, like you get free dinner, drinks. Mm -hmm. Yes, we can get that. Okay. What do you? What do you? Do we the clubs friends. like text you? You know, have a promoter that just texts you like, "Hey, come to this dinner for free." Yes, I um, the clubs I write us or there are some people that work for the club that we can. Talk to contact. them, and yes, you have contact with them, and you can have free entrance. Yeah, a yes. sort of promoter. Yeah. A sort of promoter. I, I think like all the clubs here have the promoters, and they are in charge to contact all the girls to bring to the dinner, and obviously it's free for her, and it's work um, good for the for the club because if you go into a club which is full of uh, nice girls. You are going to stay there yeah, and some maybe of the, spend money in the alcohol, invite her alcohol, and yeah, some of the the, the dinners turn into a nightclub. So you have Zigre, uh, to say it in the gringo way, Zigre, China. Isabel, Isabel also sometimes gives girls free dinners. Yeah, and every girl eats dinner, but not every girl goes to the club. So they give them free dinners, and then the girls stay for the club. And then it gets a lot of guys to spend money in the bottles and yeah. Um, that's the that's the plan for the club. Okay. And what about you? Plan. What about you? Uh, what? Uh, yes, I go to all that places uh, that she may, uh, name. Mm -hmm. And uh, another ones I can name it. Isa yeah. Isabel uh, also Tinta. Tinta. Um, <laughs> and so, like, they just give you free dinner, yeah. and do you have to, like, tag them? Black. Black? 
do you have to tag them on Instagram? Like, how many Instagram followers do you have? Uh, 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 that it's uh, according about uh, followers. I don't have a lot of followers. How so many followers do you have? Just uh, 200. 200 followers and okay. three, 300. Okay, and they give. Do you have to tag the club, or you have to tag the 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 dinner place on your Instagram? Uh, yes, it's okay. like from like publicity. Yeah, but even if you have 200, 300 Instagram yeah, followers, she she have two thousand, no two hundred. Oh, two thousand, two thousand. I'll see un poco más. Y sorry, perdón. And it's for also from the image, so I only have to be pretty to to be there. So you don't need followers, but in some places, yes. So it's half places you they ask you to be more known, and some places uh, you only have to be pretty. Okay. So so uh, I, I, me and Franco were fucked. We're yeah. not getting, we're not getting free shit. Maybe ever. you can put a skirt <laughs> yeah. and a peluca. Yeah, I identify as a woman. Does that work here? <laughs> um, okay, so like you guys are used to getting like free, uh, I guess free dinners. Do you guys also get like free? Um, so you go get the free dinners, right? And then maybe you have like a promoter. How do you then like end up at a nightclub? Like, do you get a free table? Like, what are some of the cool events that you maybe have gotten access to for free? Like some DJs or? Uh, all parties. Uh, if you know uh, the right people, you can, you can. And you're a woman. Enter all the parties <laughs> without uh, oh. pay uh, nothing. I never pay uh, entrance uh, to clubs, but I know people. If you are only pretty and you know you don't know anybody, you are not going to be. You are going to have to pay. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. From my side, um, that's I am man. And when I go outside on a table on a DJ or a, a party, a big party, we always um, invite girls, and always um, the girls are more than the guys, mm -hmm. you know. And all the girls never pays anything. In Maybe in the ambient I move, but um, yeah, the girls never pay. They are getting all free, like the Uber, the eat, uh, the, the dinner, the entrance, the VIP, all, all is free for the girls. And when, sh when they are pretty, and uh, you are going to give more, you know? Yeah. It's, it's like that. So, it's, yeah, I, I think that, I think that um, you know, you say that you have to have the connections. I think something that's actually funny is that if you're a hot girl and you go walk into a club, you're probably going to get invited to a table. Yeah, the, for uh, sure. promoter's probably going to walk around the club and see you and then invite you over to the table. Or some guy who's at a table is going to be like, hey, come over to my table. Like, you're going to end up, probably if you're a hot girl, you're going to end up at a table anyways, even if you didn't have something set up. I think that you're probably used to. You're, uh, it's uh, acostumbrado hmm. that you always have the invitations yeah. to everything. So, um Hi. What what do you think? For me, it's think like that? crazy uh, that someone. Uh, to, if someone tell me you have to pay <clears throat> the entrance, for me it's like, what the fuck? <laughs> you wouldn't go. You wouldn't no, go. No, no, because I have no. another party that it's <clears throat> free for me, so I'm not going we to go choose. pay. Yes, we can choose. Uh, I ha we can choose. <laughs> okay, so you have options. So like, yes. if somebody if somebody doesn't give you these, if someone doesn't give you the entry for free, if someone doesn't give you like the good dinner then you're like, I'm not going, because you have options. Yes, that's, that's the point. Like, we can choose where to go, and I have friends that always have, like, lots of invitations, too, so we are like, well, okay. what we can do? Like, mm -hmm. let's choose the best, the, mm -hmm. the best night or the best group of guys or... Yeah, that's the sad part of us. <laughs> this, that's the sad part of us, because... Um, you are maybe talking with three girls and you are invite her and maybe comes another guy with a better invitation and you are fucked, you know? Yeah, we call that, <laughs> yeah. We call that a bigger, better deal. A bigger, better deal. Yeah, that's, that's, one of the, that's another thing of well, reason why I left Las Vegas. I love the party. I love to do cool things. But in Vegas, it's like um, you'll have a bottle service table and you'll have a free bottle service table, right? And you'll bring, you have to bring like eight girls and you get a free bottle service table. Without bringing the girls, the table the, the worst table in the nightclub 
cost three thousand dollars. Really? The wow. worst table. Like it's not a table; it's like my couch with like a, like that little table right <laughs> yeah, there, yeah, they, and you can barely see. Like you're better to just walk up by yourself, right? And they give you one bottle, and that would be like three thousand dollars normally, and then you have to pay twenty percent tax and then twenty percent tip. So you'd pay five thousand minimum, okay, wow. for the worst table at a nightclub. But but then you, the guy who's in the DJ booth, they'll spend one hundred and fifty thousand dollars in a night. One hundred fifty thousand dollars, okay. But so, why? Because he... Bring... No, because it'll be like a group of friends that are coming from yeah. San Francisco, and they don't care about the girls, but there's a lot of girls that are there, and they don't know how yeah. to talk to girls. So, like, there's just so many people who have money that don't know how to talk to girls, and it's like they spend so much money. And I imagine that, like, you know, that's, that's kind of... That can be something that also happens uh, as well in other countries, but it's like there's always somebody who has more money than you, who always has... Yeah, that's always... You know, who's always willing to spend more money... And um, it's great for the girls, obviously, right? But as you're, if you're a guy, you're like, you don't want to be in that environment because what no. ends up happening is like, you know, if you run out of alcohol, then you're like, oh my goodness, now all the girls are going to go to another table. And then maybe you have a budget, you're spending, planning to spend $500, and now you spend $1,000. <laughs> and so I think nightclubs are great to like go do cool things. But like, man, it's just a, it's a trap for guys. Yeah. It's a trap for guys because you, you could have like a nice dinner. You could have like a nice... Uh, trip to the beach. You could have a nice little like uh, quinta, or like what you guys call it, right? Like yeah. a little mansion. You could have a nice little house to yourself, um, rather than going out to a nightclub. But obviously, it's nice for you. So, what are the coolest events that you guys have gotten to go to for free? Just give me like a couple names for free. Yeah. Me, mm, I I don't think I go a, a cool event for free. The the most cool event I I I go. Um, because I, I pay with my friends a table or something like this. But, um, um, no, I don't know. I mean, a, a free event, I, I never okay. go. Maybe the girls. Uh, I think that maybe a, par a techno party. Mm -hmm. uh, like you've seen Solomon, you've seen uh, what DJs or Amelie what Lenz, it's the last uh, I saw that was really cool and it was free. Amelie Lenz. Okay. In okay. Puerto what Madero. Else? What else? ¿En dónde es el lugar de Puerto Madero? Okay. Eh, ¿Cómo se llama? Eh, no me acuerdo. Pero sí bueno, a place in Puerto Madero that it was really good party. Eh, What's another like cool maybe event? Maybe in Mute. Mute. Mute eh, in the beach in Mar del Plata. Okay, that's like four hours outside of yes. Buenos Aires. That's where people go in like the summertime to party. Yes, eh, Buenos Aires don't have beach and here is in the beach is a club in the beach with sand, I know, uh, and it's, it was really cool there. What did you see? I see a lot of, but uh, San Paganini, mm -hmm. dig with, it was really cool about. Did you see Gordo last year? Eh? Gordo? Ah, uh, no. Okay. But Not you have we... Gordo, who was DJ Carnage, everybody loves him. Mm -hmm. um, it's actually kind of ironic, because a lot of people think that Buenos Aires has a beach, because it's next to the water, but it doesn't. And so a lot of foreigners that come here are like, oh, where's the beach in uh, Argentina? And it's actually like four hours away. So don't come to Buenos Aires thinking that you're going to go to the beach because there's no beach. No, we have a, a river. Where uh, you do yachts. Uh, yes. Uh, and it's really beautiful too. So okay. Come to Buenos Aires. Not to the beach, but come. <laughs> okay. Do you know how to say the difference between beach and bitch? Uh, yes. Okay, good. <laughs> That's also a funny thing is that uh, Latinos don't always know how to say the difference between beach Come and bitch. Come for the beaches. Come for the beaches. <laughs> What's up, my beaches? <laughs> okay. Um, well, I don't usually go so much out to a big party, but I prefer like private party. Mm -hmm. And I prefer like no party at all. Like, okay. like to date with someone or go out dinner and or go out with friends, but mm -hmm. yeah, like, tranqui. <laughs> okay, something chill, a little bit chill. more chill. Yeah. So like, uh, you guys also have been on yachts before, right? Like what days, do you guys go out on the yachts on the weekends, during the weekdays? Most people work, so go in the weekend, but it's a nice plan for the week, also go to a yacht. I think, but in weekends, uh, sometimes uh, there are a lot of yachts uh, like uh, near, mm -hmm. and there is a big party in the river. 
So it's really fun. Okay, but you've gone on yachts. How many yachts have you gone on? Quantos tu Yeah. In, in in all my life? Yeah. A lot. I don't I don't like have a, the count. Like fifty, sixty. I don't know. Cincuenta me dice. No, no, I don't I need have to count. Count it. I no, just more or less. Yeah, more or less. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like fifty. Okay. Like her three times only. Okay, yeah. three times. Okay. My my uh, my tío cousin. My uncle. Uh, uncle uh, have um have one, so I went a lot of times. Okay. No, I'm just, I'm just curious. I'm just curious. Because I guess I'm trying to give people an idea of, like, what are the things that people do for fun. You have a, a spot where there's, like, 40 minutes north of the city where you go for yachts. Over here in the center of the city, there's more um, more parties in Palermo or Costanero, which is right next to the, to the ocean. And then you have kind of a bougie neighborhood on the east side that's called Puerto Madero. It has kind of the bougie, rich upper class type yeah, of uh, restaurants class, and a couple of clubs. Okay. Um, and then you guys uh, get invites to events from promoters, sometimes from the club, sometimes for free dinners. And um, you guys have promoters here, right? So like, what do, what do the promoters actually do here? Yeah, the promoters like, uh, depends on where they are working. Like if they work for a restaurant or a club, or maybe they have, I don't know, a client. Um, all, all all the work they have they they have to do is invite girls, um, the most uh, so, so cute girls. Too, yeah, say, say, say or, tables. Or do um, for yeah. Say it again. Do reservations for dinners or sell tables for the guys, mm -hmm. um, or well, look yeah, up yeah, for the, girls. That's the, the <laughs> like the, the promoter um, the promoter job. Yeah. Um, get tables for the guys. Invite the most um, um, and share the like the picture and the lineup. Yes, the lineup, everything like. Yeah, communication. What is going on on the weekend? You know, the promoter is like working all the week for the weekend. You know, all the week is texting girls, uh, inviting he her. He starts on Monday, like. Yeah, on the Monday he <laughs> girls. I do wanna come to the party the weekend. So, how many messages do you think you get a week? for invites to events? How many messages? M mensajes. Um, it, it depends. Uh, I don't have like a lot of messages to invite me at uh, places, but... Me matas con los números. You can say in, in Spanish. Um, like, it depends. But see, three, four, five, Okay. Sometimes more. There's... You'll probably have like two options on but, Friday. But two if I have to count, uh, like boys, uh, random boys that invite me, I have 20. 20 per but, week. But, per week. Uh huh. Sí. Or more. What is this? Is that, well, I, I don't know. But I don't this care. Is, I don't know. No, okay, I don't so care. here's another Argentina thing. It's I don't like, care. I don't care. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you guys have this? Yes. This? What does this mean? This is. What? What, 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 what the fuck? Okay. Yeah, okay, so this means this means what the fuck? And this means I don't care. This means I don't care. Okay, I'm learning that. I didn't know this one. Okay, um, and then um, for you, messages? yeah, how many messages? How many invites do you get in the weekend? Yeah, or oh, in, in the week. week? In a week? No, in a week. In a month? In a week? I think that more than ten. Yeah. More than ten per more. week. More. Okay. Yeah. How many invites do you think you get in a month? Oof, I don't know. More <laughs> than fifty. Okay. And this is like, <laughs> hey, come to this cool table, come to this artist, come to the native, come to this dinner. Yes, often. A lot of invitations, not only for party, but <laughs> they did too. <laughs> okay. So lots, lots and lots of messages. Yeah. Here okay. you, I mean, for me, which uh, as a man, How many messages do you get? A, a, a yeah, week? for example, um, um, when the, in 29 October is my birthday, so I planning like uh, to do something and I'm... And I'm inviting girls, telling her for now, you know. And, he's, and today is the, the 17th of October. So he's doing this like two weeks in advance. Yeah, two weeks uh, it's before. Invitation. It's an invitation for <laughs> both of you girls. And yeah, I, I text like a lot of girls. And you know me a little bit and you, you know, I, I text um, a lot of girls for party. I'm okay. all my friends. Okay. So 
cool. Looks like we're doing a, doing a party. Um, I need I think, Halloween. You know? I think one thing as well, and this is a little bit more of the of the guy's side. I think that this is actually good. You want to pass the mic? Okay. So I think most girls think that most guys are perros, right? That they're that they're guys that talk to a lot of girls. Perros means dogs. And that means like a guy who like ch- like talks a lot of girls, you know, flirts with a lot of girls, fucks a lot of girls, goes on dates with a lot of girls. Do you think do you think that most of the guys that invite you are like that? <laughs> First of all, it's cats, not dogs. You don't say perros gatos. for no for, gato, gato. Para hombres. Sí. Gato. You say gatos. Gato is okay, like I, really chamuchero. Okay. It's we, sorry, in Colombia they say perros, so ah, I, I, okay. I, okay. Okay, okay. Here it's cat. cat. Okay. We uh, only say cats uh, for women in Colombia. Here it's for both. Okay. Got yeah. those, got yeah, those. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> got you. Uh, yeah, but it's like in all places the same. Uh, some people it's more chill and some people it's more like him. No, <laughs> 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 but it's okay, it's okay. But um, I don't know. Uh, yes, uh, they are more. They are really chamucheros and flirt. But uh, it's like in you know, other places. Uh, you How can. How do you translate you chamuchero? Uh, chamuchero is fl- flirt. I, yeah, but Same. it's like um, it's like a guy who flirts. Uh huh. Yeah. yeah. It doesn't have a word. Yeah, it doesn't have that. a good 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 English yeah. translation. I think that it's a word created create of us okay. we, we create the world but do you think most guys are are gatos um nah, so half and half they are pe- uh, guys that uh, want uh, to marry too and have uh, like the okay where are they, <laughs> where are they? Where are they? <laughs> I didn't meet we're all the good guys uh, but yes uh, people boys here are more like that like they want to be with you and then want to be with your friends and <laughs> it's okay like I, I want to be with Perfect. their friends too so yeah that, it's like okay that's it's the same thing <laughs> it, it's the same thing because boys like have sex and girls like have sex so maybe the girls are more like more reservedly but in the end of the day you know all we like to fuck all so fuck. yeah okay I I I I meet in girls and to I like her very much and I um w- be with her like one time and then she tell me like I want to be with your friend and I was like well it's okay but give me your friend you know <laughs> <laughs> Okay so you guys are making but deals I yeah I can't I can't trust in that guy anymore like okay like you are my friend now up to now mm. but I want to to meet like a guy with only for you. Oh, yes. Who has eyes only for me. Okay, who has eyes only for you. That's so hard. Okay, here's a hard. question. We'll go, we'll go one by one. Uh, who cheats more, men or women? Oof, that's Boys. a good question. But Boys. I think it's... Boys. I think personally, when you have a relationship, like a, a, a relationship... The this girls, is a really big way for him to talk him his way out of this for any girl that he knows that sees this. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, I think the girls are more like uh, cheaters. Okay, yeah. girls? When, okay. when they are okay. in a relationship. Okay, when they're in a relationship. Yeah. Boys. Okay, why? Because um, I think that girls uh, cheat because, uh, when they don't have a... Um, like the love uh, that she deserves. Uh, guys more, are more like um, like without thinking or anything. Like for the that moment, they think with the head, no, but this head, but they think uh, with the other head. So that's why. So I think that they can be lo- loyal too. If but have to, I think that boys have to make an effort. Extra and because girls are really beautiful, all girls are really beautiful, so they have more heart of us that we have. All to guys are really ugly. Search a lot to find one. Okay. <laughs> so, 
I, th yeah. I think that boys cheat more than girls, but both cheat, cheated on both. Like boys, if you want to be what, with a girl, like they do it, and girls have a lot of boys, and it is difficult for us to, to, like, to choose one. We can have a lot, but sometimes we like are in doubt, so we don't have, we don't need it. Like boys need to to fuck a girl. Okay. You know? Boys need to fuck need. a girl. Okay. <laughs> but girls can can control it. Okay. Yes. This is some this is some real advice. Okay, so I, I, I like that. Um, so with that in mind, somebody who's coming to. Is there anything else that you guys want to talk about in terms of like, uh, you know, we talked about Malay, we talked about the Yankees, we talked about nightlife, we talked about cool events, we talked about promoters, we talked about a little bit about dating. Is there anything else that you think that, you know, somebody who's coming to Buenos Aires for the first time should know? Mm, like for a Yankee? Uh, like for a Yankee, <clears throat> I think oh, he needs to know like... Um, Claro, we say here like que no se regale is like you don't get um, don't give a gift. Yeah, don't give a gift. But in Colombia we say no dar papaya, which means like don't yeah. give don't give a mango. Yeah, it's that, like don't get robbed. Yeah, don't get robbed because here, for the people like um, who is like working maybe in the street like the taxis or maybe that people, and when they see a, a junkie they wanna get um, hustle. Yeah, hustle. Hustle. So they can. But it's scammed. not like it's not like guns. Like you're not gonna. No, get like no, gun. no, no, okay. no guns. Maybe a scam with the. I lived in I lived in Colombia for like yeah, six, seven so years. So you, know you know all you know all about this. Yeah. You know all about this. Colombia is a spicy place too. So spicy. They call it spicy. Spicy. Uh, we say we say yeah. hot. Dangerous. We say hot. Dangerous. Hot. We say hot. We say caliente. Okay. Caliente. Yeah. Acá en Argentina es picante. Okay, picante. If something is dangerous, it is picante. Uh -huh. Picante. Okay, so what is somebody, uh, so be careful of scams. I think that some uh, thing that happens a lot is because people don't understand the exchange rates, that yes. they get exchange rate, um, they get fucked over with exchange rates as well. Yeah, because, they'll, they'll, because it's changing all the day, so yeah. it's so hard for well, people. People don't understand the difference between the exchange rates. For foreigners, it happens the same in exchange. any country. Like, I travel and I think that I have to ask, okay, how much that? And we have to discuss the prices, so it happens in all the countries. Mm -hmm. But Argentina is very security. Uh, here in Buenos Aires capital, like Palermo, Recoleta, Belgrano, Puerto Madero, uh, we don't have like that type of, of, of things that maybe you can be robbed if you are foreign. No, no. Yeah, and a difference I, I not noticed in, in the USA you have like the, the guns are lowered, so in the difference here, um, you are maybe in the capital you are not going to get like three guys punching you with a gun, you know. That is like it can be uh, happens, but it's more difficult, you know. Yeah, the gun in, thing is not necessarily in the United States. You're not going to have three guys that come up to you for to yeah. rob you for your cell phone. In Colombia, no? yes. In Colombia. No, in, in the United States. No one's bro. This no, is I, this is like yeah, because, two yeah. days wage. Yeah. Like, why are you gonna rob someone for yeah, a phone? Yeah, here is like in uh, Colombia. Two it's like four, yeah, it's like three, four months in Colombia. Yeah. Okay, but like, yeah, you're not gonna have. There's no guns here, so like that. You know, you're not you, gonna. You don't have a, a, a shootout in your school. Yeah, you're you not know? gonna. <laughs> yeah, you know, I don't wanna be. We're going to a different topic. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Um, anything else that somebody should know when they come here? Mm, I don't think we speak. We spoke a, a lot of the most important thing, like the night. Where, where, where do you know to go? Yeah, we'll talk fun. a little bit in future podcasts. So uh, click the like button and subscribe. We'll talk a little bit more in future podcasts, a little bit more about like where to live, kind of what are, what are some other cool options. We kind of touched upon them, like the yacht, uh, some of the other cities to go to, yeah. um, some of the other cool events, what are the best times of year. Um, so stay tuned for that, how to exchange money. We'll talk about those things in future podcasts. Um, is there anything else that somebody should know that's coming to Buenos Aires for the first yeah. time? That they have to try uh, the more the more places about food that they can because it's really good food here. Uh, Do you know how to cook? I know how to cook. Oh, yeah, she knows sure. how to cook. <laughs> I love to cook. So, so uh, food is really good and uh, is de Buenos Aires or Argentina? Or Argentina? In general. Try to visit to uh, maybe 
eh, Bariloche, or Mendoza, that is really nice too. Or eh, el Perito Moreno, gracias. Yes. That is really nice here in Argentina. You also mentioned about going to Uruguay as well, Punto Este. Uruguay is other país. Yeah, uh, other other country. I understand. I understand. Uh, we have the. Iwasu I'm not that. Falls. I'm not that American. Trust me. <laughs> we have the Iwasu Falls too, here in in Argentina, Misiones. That's the the waterfall that's in between Paraguay, uh, Brazil, and Argentina. The big yes. falls. Yes. We, we have we have a lot of landscapes, good yeah. landscapes. Yes. Um, well, Bariloche, you name, um, and the uh, mountains like. Mendoza. Mendoza, yes. Wine, dry good wine. wine. Yes, we have good wine, good <laughs> cheese. Cheese is the best. I okay, think. cheese is the best. <laughs> yes. Okay, anything else you want to say? Yeah, I think we we spoke like uh, yeah. from the Buenos Aires, Argentina, the capital, but maybe in another podcast we can um, uh, go uh, under for like all the Argentina because you have like a lot of province yeah. uh, to go to visit, but and in this province are um, party as well. You know, party. you have Cordoba capital, that is a huge party in, right there. The night there is so big. And you have um, the most, most big party, uh, night party is here in Buenos Aires. Okay. But you have a lot of province you can go and have fun as well with uh, girls, really cute girls. Okay, and some of the things that me and Franco are gonna do in the future is we're gonna do uh, a private jet to Bariloche, yeah. get a nice cab in there. We're going to go to Mar de Plata to go to see, see Gordo. Yes. Uh, who's a big, he was a car, DJ Carnage, who was a big hip hop DJ, but now he's a, a really big, uh, I, I don't know, tech house. Yeah, he's like Techenge. Techenge, we say. Techenge. He does, a, he, he, he does a little bit of everything. Yeah, he's a little And little so we're going to get a, we're gonna get a table, a uh, backstage table at a Gordo concert in Mar de, in yeah, Mar de Plata. We'll see coming. At Mute. Uh, we're going to do a trip to Brazil and, and a yacht with a bunch of girls and go to a mansion. We've already done a couple of these things. If you want to follow my Instagram at EliteLifestyle.Argentina or my personal Instagram at Coach Patrick Red. Uh, send me a message there, Argentina, if you want a little bit more information about that. We've been coming up with kind of a, the itinerary of the things we're going to do, like helicopter tours around the city, um, doing the private jet, like I said, doing some of the yacht parties, um, going to another country from here yes. as well. And yeah, just excited here to kind of explore Buenos Aires. Thank you guys for so much for Thank you. kind of sharing Thank your perspective. I think that a lot of people don't get to hear your perspective and they kind of just see these crazy news about Millet and Messi and yeah, yeah. you know uh, maybe Michael Saylor and crypto and inflation, but they don't actually know what it's like when they come here. So I think you guys give a yeah, very good different. perspective. You have to come here and live the experience in Argentina. <laughs> Yeah, 100%. 100%. <laughs> yeah. And try to meet the right people so you can have the really good fun and see... A good experience. See that, like, the true Buenos Aires. Try to meet good people. Yeah, and uh, sometimes we did, a, we did a sushi as well here yeah. at the house, and then we went to um, one of those events over by the airport. Yeah, in the Howard, Howard Johnson. Oh. Yeah, the Howard it Johnson. Was a, a and then what else? We, I've gone to a couple of the sushis that you guys talked about. I've done a couple of trips to this place called Carillo to get a really nice mansion, Costa de Esmeralda. Um, so I'm looking forward to a lot of cool events. And if you want to maybe tag along to some of these other events, uh, you can apply down below in the link, uh, elitelifestyle.com slash immersion, and uh, kind of learn a little bit about some of the itineraries that we have for Argentina. And I'll talk to you next time when we talk a little bit more in depth about some of the other uh, topics that we kind of left open loops for in this video.